Today we're going to go over the best practices for creating and posting a video content for inclusion in class websites, wiki spaces, blogs, and other online platforms. Some of you may have already been involved with video but are looking to become more proficient or self-sufficient with the creation and presentation of this video content. While others may have been interested in videotaping their lectures or adding other supplementary materials but haven't had any idea where to start. This demo is going to give you the basic practices of how to shoot, digitize, edit, and then upload your video content. First you need to pick a camera you will use to capture the video. We currently recommend the Kodak ZI8 for its video quality, ease of use, and simple digitization process. We find it's a great camera for both those new to video and also those with some experience. The Kodak ZI8 is a fairly simple camera to use. It's got an on-off button on the side that lights up after you press it for approximately a second and a half. On the bottom it shows you that there's an SD card installed in it, as well as the battery life of the camera. Right now it's currently fully charged. The big red button in the middle is what you'll hit to start and stop recording. The first button is where you can go through your menu options, changing audio volume, and other functionalities of the camera. The second one is where you'll be able to delete videos that you've recorded. The third will be able to choose what your video quality is at. Currently it's set to 720p. And the fourth button is how you can play back your videos that you've recorded actually on the Kodak device. This is an easy way that you can see that your content has been captured and you can also see if you like how you're shooting your video. So on the left side of the camera you have your microphone input for an external microphone or wireless microphone. You have your AV slots for connecting the device to a video source like a monitor or um, an HDMI so you can watch it on a flat screen. The last slot is for your AC power supply. On the right side of the camera you have your power button to turn on and off the device. You have your SD card slot for your internal SD card. And then you also have your internal USB plug for connecting the device to either a Mac or a PC to transfer off your videos for editing and processing. Here's a list of some of the basic things you'll need to know before you go out and actually shoot your video. Basic tips for audio. Be aware of surrounding noise in the audio you want to capture. Is it best to use a wireless mic or seek a quieter place to do the video? Tips for lighting. Be aware of the lighting conditions. Video prefers even light as opposed to harsh shadows. Be aware of where the light is coming from. It is best if the light is coming from behind the camera to avoid backlighting the subject. Once you've gone through everything on this list, it's time to go out and shoot your video. This should be the easiest part of the entire process if you've done all your preparations. When setting up for a video shoot, be sure to place the camera at a close enough distance to the subject. This will ensure that the internal mic can clearly pick up the presenter's voice and the framing of the video will be close enough to keep the subject in the field of view. Now that you have your video in the camera, it's time for post-production. This starts with transferring the video to a computer. The ZI8 makes this step a snap with its built-in USB cable. Once connected to a machine, be it a Mac or a PC, the camera should show up as an external device with video files on it. These files can be dragged or moved off the camera. Once they are safely and securely on another location, the videos can be removed from the camera to ensure free space is available for the next video acquisition. Once you have your videos on the desktop of your computer, it's time to start editing. The Macintosh operating system comes with a free video editing application called iMovie. The software's layout makes it easy to use, getting you up and editing in no time. Start by going to the File menu and scroll down to Import Movies. This will allow you to select the movies you downloaded to your computer from the camera and import them into your iMovie asset library. This will take a little while. Once you have your movies in your library, you can select sections of the movie and drag them into the project editing window for further editing, adding crossfades, titles, and other transitions. Once you have completed all your edits, you can go up to the share menu 
where there are a number of options to export or upload your movie for integration into websites such as YouTube, Wikispaces, Courseworks, or create a podcast for iTunes U, or even create a DVD. I hope you found this demo to be informative, and if you have any further video questions, please contact us at the Center for New Media, Teaching and Learning.